Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at the beautiful Lumina Golf Resort here in Spain. And this is the complete golf swing guide. We've come to the final chapter, the finish position, the finale. You've hit the shot and we just now want to finish that position. Um, I've been going through every single section of the golf swing as little bite-sized chunks. All of those chapters are up here in the corner. Click the eye, you can go through all of them, stage by stage, each one at a time, or you can just jump in and out of them, whichever one tickles your fancy. The finish position is so key in the golf swing because it helps us create balance within the swing. We've got to be balanced in the swing to be balanced after the swing. So key, it really is. And it's often an area that gets overlooked, very easily overlooked. We're just going to go through some simple pointers to help you finish better. I've gone through the whole golf swing so far from the summary to the hole to the setup, the backswing, downswing and impact. And then we're going to talk about how we then finish that swing going through the shot. There's a couple of big key elements here. And this is what's going to help really create that consistency, the power and the balance that we all desire. So I'm coming down. I've hit the shot. I've hit the shot. I've hit the shot. From this point now, We've, we are unwinding our body. And we talked about that in the downswing. We are unraveling the hips and we are turning through. And I don't want it to stop there. I want the body to rotate and rotate and rotate and rotate. So you're really gonna turn the hips all the way through. And from that point then, your full body is facing toward the target. Notice that what that does to my legs. Something has to give if I'm facing that way now. When I've started facing that way, something's got to give. And more naturally, it's that right foot allows itself to lift off the floor, the heel. And I'm rotating, 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 rotating. And finishing with a lot of weight on this left foot. I would go as close to saying kind of 90% of weight now is positioned in this left foot. But because I created enough of a, a wide enough base at the start, and this is what I was talking about in setup. I'm not losing balance. I could stand here majority of the day without being too off balanced. My weights move to the left because we want that strike to take place after the shot. I've rotated my hips and my body towards the target and that's what's gonna help us not hold anything back. We don't wanna hold any power back from the shot. So let me do that and I'm also gonna talk about what the arms do through the shot. So. Like I said, we've gone through all of these elements so far. Hold, set up, backswing, downswing. And as I come down in the swing and I've hit, I'm going to keep my body rotating, keep my hips turning, keep my torso turning and my shoulders turning, and then finish with balance as much as you can, but a lot of weight on the left foot. And you can see that position there. I am fully over my left foot to the extent where I'm almost right on the outside of my left foot. My hips are absolutely almost at the target. My shoulders have done something similar. They probably won't get quite as far. And I'm fully presenting myself to that flag. I've fully rotated my body. Notice as well there's a held balance. I just got a bit of cramp in my foot. Notice there are a held balance though. I didn't lose balance, I didn't fall over, I didn't wobble. There was no weight going away from the target, it was all going at the target. To add on to that, and now we can create more power, is how the arms complement that body rotation. And how the arms extend and really complement how well we're hitting with power. We're not holding anything back. So as I rotate here, I'm going to focus this time, as well as rotating and turning, I'm going to extend my hands away from my body. Forward, this way, towards the target. So as I rotate and I turn, my, my unravel my body coming down. Notice there how my arms fully extended. And once my arms are fully extended, they can then finish around my head and around my neck. And that is just the icing on the cake. You, could, you can play tremendous golf just finishing there. But to get that little bit of icing on the cake, 
you that club can just finish all the way around and balance hold your finish hold your finish hold your finish and regardless of how of how good a or bad the shot is, at least you'll look pretty good. <laughs> so guys, that is the complete golf swing guide from what a golf swing is in its, in its rawest form, in its simplest form. I don't want to confuse this. I'm talking to you as a golfer, not as a, as a golf coach to golf coach. I'm talking to you as a golfer and making it so simple so that you improve. That's the idea of this whole golf swing uh, guide. The whole, the whole idea of it. And I'll do more of these if you enjoyed them. If you want the driver golf swing guide, the putting golf swing, uh, putting guide, let me know in the comments below what do you want to see a guide of, and I'll do it. It's, I enjoyed that. For me, it's simple technique that's going to help you improve. Any of the chapters you can hit up in the corner and watch any of them at your leisure, share them around, put them in a playlist. I'll probably do it on my channel anyway, so you can watch each single one of them. Guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. As always, I would... And, and this kind of, even as much as this is a guide, go for coaching. Go for professional coaching. If you're really struggling, find a good golf coach and go and see them for lessons. This is just a guide, but it's going to help you. It's going to help you enormously. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Lumina Golf Resort for letting me come down here and film. Better go and, hit, go and pick up those balls up now, and we'll see you next time.